Vic and Wade are in the ring to go over the Battle Royal slash Gauntlet slash title match rules. Wade Barrett says, It's incredibly simple! <laughs> they had to have listened to this show. <laughs> It's it, incredibly simple. If they really, if they would have started this thing, because there were like three fucking screens for the rules, there were four, four screens, screens of, rules, of rules, including typos and gram grammar errors. They should have had the first screen just say, "It's really quite simple," that and awesome. then move on to the second screen. It's incredibly simple. Wade says there are four screens of rules, including God. typos. One of which says, "The order of the final six men will determine something, something, something." So before the Battle Royal can start, Leon Ruff attacks Swerve, and he goes to hit a big dive, but Swerve is frantically diving behind the announce desk and climbing the fence like Spider-Man to evade it. That was awesome. So the Battle Royal begins, and Swerve eliminates Jake Atlas. He eliminates, is it Tyler Rust? That Rust yes. fella. Yes, yes. So the key is there's 11 dudes when it starts, and Dexter Loomis is standing in one corner not moving, and everyone leaves him alone. I don't know why they did that. I would think eventually someone would have gone to pick a fight with the guy. But they leave him alone to rest and not be eliminated. So I can't blame him for not getting involved. So Austin Theory, I get the gimmick is he's a meathead. He's a dumb person. He's a nincompoop. He's knocked out of the ring, I think by Reed, but he falls on the floor on his back. And his feet are up in the air. And it's a stupid Naomi Royal Rumble move. You're not out until your feet touch the ground. And so Theory looks around, and he says, I shall do a kip up. And he kips up onto his feet. So he's out. Uh, yeah. I hit pause. <laughs> got to my feet. Oh, no. <laughs> Stress my fingers. Didn't do, like, outside or anything, but I went to the kitchen, got a nice glass of water, a few deep breaths, and I came back to finish the show. That was stupid. Kushida and Dunn, who are having a feud about who is the world's best technical wrestler, go face to face and elbow the shit out of each other. Sure. That made me laugh. It was, that was a, technical that was, brawling, Vinny. It may have been. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what uh, Gigi Dolan went by, technical brawling. Yes. So eventually they eliminate each other, which takes us to the final six. So the next six men are in the gauntlet. That's when we go to commercial during a battle royal. So during the commercial, Regal adds Pete Dunne versus Kushida for night one. Johnny Gargano was on the announce desk quoting the lyrics of Edge's theme song to Beth. That made me laugh. So Bronson Reed dumps Leon Ruff and Swerve at the same time. So they will start the gauntlet. And then thank God they had a graphic to keep track of all this. Loomis, by the way, still has not moved. We're now down to four dudes. And finally, as Bronson Reed is on the edge of elimination, he goes to... Throw Reed out. So this he's guy out. is supposed to be a baby face, and the first move he makes is to toss out a beloved baby face. From behind. <laughs> God. <laughs> so now it's down to three men. It's down to L.A. Knight, Cameron Grimes, and uh, Loomis. And Grimes decides to try to buy them off. And he starts throwing out hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And they're looking at each other. And L.A. Po LA Knight points out, you know, it's not a bad idea. I'd have taken the fucking money. You're, you're still one in the of the last three. Yeah, yeah. You're so, still, like, I mean, the first two are number one, basically. I yes. mean, it should have just ended with the final two. It doesn't matter who wins, which we'll get to, by the way. So, take the goddamn money. You're still, like, in third in the Scotland, or you're third, to, third from the end or whatever, so. Yeah, and you have a guaranteed payday here. The Actually, I guess move. the winner is last in, so it does matter first and second. It, it matters, but... Yeah. Th but not third, that much. Finishing third is a good spot, and you get a guaranteed payday here. But they don't. They turn on him and they throw Grimes out. And so it's down to Dexter Loomis and L.A. Knight. I mean, and fuck, I had people telling me he was smart for A.J. to get into the elimination chamber early <laughs> instead of when he was supposed to. That's true. Because it was a strategy. That's true. That's true. So they do a creative finish where Loomis gets thrown over the top but lands on the apron. And Knight somehow falls through the ropes to the floor, so he's still in because he went through the ropes, and he yanks Loomis off the apron to win. So Elliot Knight's the last man in the gauntlet. So if you are keeping a score at home, it will start with Leon Ruff and Swerve. And by the way, gauntlet, uh, it's closer to a Royal Rumble. Every three minutes, somebody comes in, whether there's been an elimination. Aztec or not. Warfare. A, that, that's a true. cageless elimination chamber. 
Yes. So Leon Ruff and Swerve will start. Three minutes. Bronson. I think it's a three minutes. Bronson Reed will come in. Then Cameron Grimes. Then Dexter Loomis. And then L.A. Knight. And L.A. Knight leaves, and he grabs some of the cash that uh, Grimes is waving around. He says, I don't want this money. I want that North American title. And Knight and Gargano go nose to nose for a bit, which was odd. And then Io Shirai, as I wrote here, came out for her 19th segment. And she calls out Raquel, and they brawl again. And Io dives onto... They, they had... They emptied the Z-Team women's locker room. What a terrible pull-apart this was. As most of them looked like they were actually afraid of Raquel and didn't want to grab her. <laughs> so they're, they're like, asking her to stop. <laughs> was there a sale on jeans at the local Target? A lot of denim you saw? Jesus. It's all that. They all wore the exact same outfit. Might be, might be. So EO dives onto 20 women, and at least at the end of the show, she was standing tall, but this, I, the, the whole I thing was over was it by year. Quite over it, yes. I was initially really upset when uh, LA Knight won, because it's like, fuck. Why did he, he lose last all week? all that time, and then you beat him in his debut, and then he wins this goddamn battle royal. I was like, fuck off. But then, it doesn't matter, because it's not like he's getting the title shot against Gargano. He's still got to win this gauntlet. And it was just a seeding thing, so whatever, who cares? So there you go. That was the next If one. you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.